Welcome to the Harrison Global Microsoft Dynamics CRM demo series. I am Callum Marshall, Solution Architect at Harrison Global, and I will be your guide to Microsoft Dynamics CRM during this presentation. This is part two of the series. Last segment provided an overview of CRM. In this segment, we will look at leads and opportunities and follow a lead through the sales process. On the home page, we can see the default view, Sales Activity Social Dashboard, which displays the sales pipeline and other pertinent information, such as leads, opportunities, and our latest wins in the top customer dashboard. Clicking on the small arrow beside the dashboard name allows the users to see other dashboards. Some notable sales dashboards include sales activity dashboard. In addition to the sales pipeline, this dashboard shows progress towards configurable goals and targets. It also shows leads by source, top opportunities, top customers, and activities. The sales dashboard allows users to see all their in-progress items on one page in order to determine where to focus their efforts. Users can see active leads, opportunities, and accounts. Leads represent potential business, but the details are not final. We may not know who the decision maker is, the timeline, or what they are interested in. As sales users get more data, they enter it into the lead and convert it to an opportunity. Leads can be imported from a list with a simple import tool, or they can be created manually. Entering data into a lead is very easy using the tab and enter buttons on the keyboard. Click Save once the data has been entered. The system will prompt the user if they try to navigate away without first saving their data. As the lead has worked and more details become available, users can update the lead. When the lead becomes qualified, users convert it to an opportunity by clicking on the Qualify button. When converting a lead to an opportunity, the system will create an account and contact if the appropriate data has been entered into the lead and no account or contact already exists. It will prompt us if it suspects a duplicate account or contact. Users should enter key information to ensure the dashboards and reports are meaningful. Users can now follow the sales process to progress the opportunity to a sale by entering data and moving through the sales stages. Each sales stage has a number of activities that need to be completed to give the salespeople a guide to what they need to do next. We'll click next stage to move the opportunity along the process. It is very easy to modify the sales process to suit any sales process or for that matter any key process that your business follows. Once the client gives the go-ahead and a sale is made, users will finalize the lead by marking it closed one. Here they will enter some details, including the final amount, and select OK. 
Now the opportunity is complete and a sale has been made. This concludes the second installment of our Microsoft Dynamics CRM demo series. Thank you for watching. I hope it provided you some helpful information. We at Harrison Global are dedicated to helping you get the most out of your CRM solution. So please reach out to us with your questions. Our contact details can be found in the information section of this video. Have a great day.